The following is a production of DallasCowboys.com and the Dallas Cowboys Football Club. How about them, Cowboys? Yeah! Go Cowboys! This, this is Media Mash, a roundtable of Cowboys insiders dropping wisdom and offering sizzling takes on the current state of your Dallas Cowboys. Now your host, Nui Scruggs. Hey, here we are, Media Mash. It's a Thursday going into the Cowboys uh, game against the San Francisco 49ers on Sunday Night Football. The game will be at Levi Stadium in Santa Clara, California. Cowboys have had two weeks to get ready for this. And Mike McCarthy, 3-1 and one as the Cowboys head coach coming off a bye week. We've got Sean Jacques Taylor right here joining us. JJT Media Group, also former Cowboy beat writer here and the author as well. All right here, um, the exact numbers. Mike uh, Mike McCarthy, 12-5 and five in games following a bye week in his career. 3-1 and one with the Dallas Cowboys here. What do you need to see coming out of this bye week? What do you want to see from Mike McCarthy as a head coach as he takes his team out west? Um, I don't even think I think it's bigger than McCarthy, man. I think they just need to play well. Whatever well is, it's like pornography. You know when you see it. Okay. So you like what I went there. <laughs> okay. Hey, you know when you see it. They just need to play well. Um, <laughs> and you know we spend a lot of time talking about what they don't do boy, well, you, boy, you, which is everything. It's two days in a row. So they need to <laughs> play back well. Back days. <laughs> they need to play well. Better. Um, here's the thought. Here's the thought. Why don't you try to establish a little bit of a running game? Okay. Why don't you try? Because that way you can control the pace. You can control the tempo. You can try to control that defense. And let's just try to run the ball a little bit. I know that ain't what you want to do, but let's just try. How about let's get Rico maybe two carries in a row. Rico. Uh, you know, I mean, if you want to give him the CD, that's cool too. But just try to run the ball a little bit. It, it is time for it is time for oh, Dalvin so Cook. I thought this, yeah, Dalvin Cook, man. Dalvin Cook, got it. <laughs> Ed, you can take your Ed, Ed okay. Werner's now Both joining us. man. We, was, we enjoyed the Tuesday feel. <laughs> I didn't know you guys were going to have a pre-show without us. Oh. oh, they was doing a real show. They just started. Uh, well, no pre-show. Know. Well, no. nothing pre about that. I mean, I was told to get here as soon as Dak was over. So no, I, well, we went to talk to, more to Dak in the locker room. Because that's, that's the best thing about Dak is he's going to no talk you at, he gonna talk, well, no Romo, but he's going to talk you at the locker, you know. Yes. And, and, and so we had got more insight into his feelings. And, and you know, he, he's always great, which is – it's funny because we were talking about, you know, this the whole the media outside the locker room. And, I mean, Dak likes us in there. I mean, and no one is is has his time taken up by the media and other things more than Dak. And if he's okay with it, he's... Then the rest of y'all need to shut up and deal with it. Exactly. <laughs> and, and how about, let's tell the real truth. You ain't talking to 40 of them 53 players in T-Way. Well, they're not in there anyway. They're not making themselves available. But, you know, which, you know Jack just, he just talked about it, and I don't know if you got, guys got into it, the distractions of the tours, how that's the difference between winning and losing. And he said it was, but it's an excuse. It sounds like an excuse. It is an excuse. They've been out there all day. They've been bothering the hell out of me. I'm trying to... <laughs> I'm trying to do interviews. I'm trying to listen to my tapes. I mean, they they, they trying to write, and all these people are just staring. They at you play the whole before 120,000 people screaming and yelling. They they can they focus on Sunday? You, you, somebody Nobody was making hi. an issue of it when they were winning 12 games three years in a no, row. No, no one was making an issue of it. No. So did you see Dexter Fowler's tweet where he said, "I didn't say that." Well, that he said that, right. and, and I, I don't know what they said and how she set up the interviews and whatever else. The fact that Boss Man Fat was interviewed about distractions. <laughs> which I found very amusing. The fact that Kelvin Joseph, who the team helped get out of a drive-by shooting. Killing. Killing. The guy murder. died on his birthday. Helped help get out of murder charges. And murder. Now that's a distraction. Exactly. If he was playing, if he was any good, which he wasn't. Right. It would have been a distraction. Who, who came into the league with a distraction because got kicked off a... LSU's team for, for weed. And, how do you even hunt and, him down? How do you get kicked off of LSU? Because I don't know, he's on somebody. He's with the Chiefs. Somebody he's with the else. Chiefs, but still, how do you think? I'm going to do this story on the Cowboys and what a distraction it must be. I need to talk to Kelvin Joseph right. about this. Who who's, has a rap career, you know, the vibe, you know, it's a I mean, distraction. That's, that's why he was boss man fan. <laughs> you know, uh, it, 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 it's crazy, but the players in the locker room, now CD said he, he, he doesn't like it. Now, and that's like anything, everybody's going to have different opinions. CD told us he didn't basically wasn't a, a fan of the tours, you know. But there are other people who said it's not a big deal. It's an excuse. As Dak said, you're playing around a hundred thousand. You're playing in front of a hundred thousand people every day, 
every Sunday. That's distracting. This uh, ain't distracting. Be a, be a professional and do your job. And what did Jordan Lewis say? Jordan, like nobody's more professional than Jordan Lewis, right? right? And his his reaction was, Jerry's created this business plan, and that's part of his business plan to make money. And uh, my part of his business plan is to play and to win. That's, right. It's that simple. Now, correct me if I'm wrong. In that ESPN article, didn't it say that as you know, the tours, Jerry chart, the tours are not free. Okay. Forty bucks. And and that's the non VIP package. Yes, non VIP package. That's yeah, the right. non hologram conversation. Okay. Yeah. You can upgrade. You can yeah. do the Beyonce upgrade. Can upgrade. Yeah, right, right, right. But don't the players get a cut of that through the league? Well, it's part of the yeah. They they they. It's part of whatever they. What, I don't know the word you're using, but yes, it's part of the fun that it goes into play. So players do get a cut of it. Right. So that was one thing I didn't know. I, I was to me that was very enlightening that this is a part of the collective bargaining agreement right. that, as they're doing. It's these part of tours. the gross revenues. Yeah, right. Uh, that you get a cut of that. So I mean, do play? I mean, I mean, not the CD Lamb. I'm sure it's not a nominal well, amount because they got to share with the whole all, league. Listen but. to me. It's, it's it, and we're at this point where we need for reasons why the Cowboys have not been successful. We, we, it's because Jerry cussing out radio guys. It's because Jerry didn't go all in. It's because Mike don't have plays. It's because. Uh, the tours. I mean, there's there has to be a reason. Everybody's looking for reasons for you know. It's like, have you ever been around a three and three team that seems to be in the abyss? They seem to be zero and six. <laughs> right. It's like <laughs> that's the way I've everybody never, seems to perceive I've never, them. I've never seen a three and three team. Look, now they are bad. I've, never, they are. I've also never seen a good team be this bad. <laughs> right. All of that because they don't. You know, I asked Dak because we're in the walk. I said, "What do y'all do well?" Seriously, because oh. I want to know. Because you asked Mike, I'm like, "What do y'all do well?" That's a legitimate question. Though. What do y'all do well? He said, well, we get the ball out fast. <laughs> My, and Mike said, we respond to adversity. <laughs> you create the adversity. He said, respond to adversity like now, get through this tour. Mike was trying to be funny. Both of those answers mean nothing. <laughs> Right, but they, there's nothing, and that's and you my made problem. that point last time we were here. Yeah, that, that's, my, that's that. my problem with this whole team. As you analyze this, yes, it's three and three, but they feel like they're one and five or two and four because there's nothing they do well. You look at all the NFL stats at the bottom of the league in offense, the bottom of the league in defense. Yes, they kick the ball well, okay, <laughs> but yeah, but you got to. And kick now he's it. not here. Yeah, you got a kicker who can't can't get out of jury duty. I mean, come on. <laughs> Only I got a jury duty. Jerry, like, what do you think Jerry would call and say? Can we sub him out? I did. Somebody, we need well, we him know. with the same court. With the same court. We know. I had jury doing the same court two weeks ago. I got out. <laughs> I wouldn't want you judging me either. That's okay. I'm getting with you. I'm comfortable, Brandon <laughs> Aubrey. I'm not sure about so you. The lawyers was like, oh, no. You know, Media um, member. They, yeah, they, they, they knew you already. <laughs> listen, yeah, they, listen. Yeah, I got, I they've seen your they, tweets. They, they, your, me, they, they read, your, they read your social they media. They called me the day before. You have been. <laughs> somebody, somebody. I got a whole text with it. the same court, which is crazy. The same court, same judge. I said, they read your social media. He just put the right answers down. That's all. Nah, yeah, I put, the, I put the answers to get me not in there. All that advantage, and you still didn't break the story. <laughs> Listen. Wow. <laughs> His old paper did, though. Listen, I, if I was at the worst, worst Star Telegram, I would have broke this story. And all the If, if, if. If all the LS. Wow. We, we nah. saw it when it happened yesterday. All the LS. I mean, we talked about boy. it yesterday. Yeah, it, it doesn't. Come in. Yeah, it's, if Rico Darrell had 99 more yards, dirty. he'd have that's 150. Well, but I don't up. think it matters whether he broke a story or not because he remains the most trusted, trusted man. That's right. You can have all the... You can have all the... A jury duty story with the kicker you want. <laughs> Have my fun. Thank speaking, you, Ed. He's speaking to speaking. You say that now. Wait till he misses in overtime, and everybody's like, "Well, he wasn't out there at practice. All well, he's he didn't get his work in. Taking the balls to in his practice. He's not gonna miss any practice. But since we're talking about breaking <laughs> stories, yes. Oh, it's my understanding this week for Dalvin Cook. This is the week? This is the week for Dalvin Cook. Jerry didn't address it on the radio. I didn't. That's how you know this is the week? <laughs> he didn't. No, the funny thing about it is he wasn't even asked about it. Right. And Mike wasn't asked about it in the last two days. Check with Nick Harris and see. Wasn't asked about it. <laughs> but That's funny. But from my funny. understanding, from my perusing in the locker room, yeah. this is a good week for Dalvin, Dalvin Cook. Dalvin Cook. Well, that would be interesting. And that would make sense. Because what they've done so far doesn't locker. make sense. Somebody was smiling in the locker room. Well, that's good. That's uh. That well, when I mean, when you look at the rushing numbers, and, it's obscene. And, and the quote they're I dead got last. Was, they're last in everything. And the quote I got every was, running thing there is. I'm they're last. I'm gonna let them tell you. Oh. I'm gonna tell you. Yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna let them tell you. I'm Nick, gonna let them talk about it. Nick doesn't have it here yet. So <laughs> that's because the are here. We're talking dirty, about the running game. We're talking about Dalvin dirty, Cook. Dirty. Dallas has league lows in rushing yards, touchdowns, average per carry, big plays. They they their average yards per rush. 
fewest since 1989 when Troy Aikman and who Paul Palmer was a running back. Paul Palmer, Palmer. 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 and they they're the and only. They him. They've been outrushed by 396 yards when you compare how much they've gained versus how much their defense has given up. 396 yards, worst in the NFL. Only team without a rush of 20 plus yards. The only team without a running in the NFC without a running back who's had a 100 yard rushing game. So. So you're saying it's time for Dalvin, Dalvin Cook. Cook. You're saying it's time for Dalvin Cook. Time. Dalvin Cook plays who sits. Does it matter? Yes. <laughs> Deuce Vaughn. <laughs> Deuce Vaughn is the easy sitting. answer. Deuce Vaughn didn't play last game. That's one. why he can sit this Well, one. you're probably sitting in another position there. You sure? Is, okay, how about this? Do you sit in another position? Zeke? Quit what, are you want Zeke to be inactive? Yeah, he's trying he try, he, to sit the buck I'm out. I'm asking the question. No, you're not. You're trying to instigate. Well, they've had three running backs up before. It's 21. It's 21. They had three running backs up before. He's 15 the these days. Oh, Get his number numbers, right. 15. The old Buckeye number. They had three yeah, running backs he ain't up 20, before. You're right. He ain't 21. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Two time rushing champion. Corrected. He's not 21 anymore. <laughs> Is this the week they sit him down? Nah. You had to take. You had to kill that man to sit him down. No, you had to kill him. Give him a t-shirt and a hat. What you, you think the Jerry interviews after the game was something else before? <laughs> <laughs> Why can't you sit him? Thank you, Ed. Why? Why, why, why is? Why, 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 why would that be sacrilegious? Need a goal line back. A goal <laughs> he line hadn't back. been nothing. <laughs> you sure you had to Did you watch the Pittsburgh game? <laughs> yeah, I watched the fumble. Even more reason why he should have been the goal line back. That's Brandon that, Cook's that, fault. That, that tells you what the head coach thinks. The play caller doesn't believe. No, the play caller was trying to get confidence to the other guy. I mean, it's not a believe thing because. You know, the you, you guy had a good game. You're trying to reward the guy for having a good now, game. Now, when I told That's you that, that, you told was. me I was crazy. Yes, I did, did not say you were crazy. I didn't say yes, you did. did. No, 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 no. Wow. Don't misconstrue. Check the tape. I said tape. that it's not yeah. what I would do because everybody has roles. I didn't did dispute you. that that's what he was trying to do. I don't agree with the decision. I still don't agree with the decision. But I'm just saying, that's what the play was called. It wasn't about good enough. I'd play Derrick Henry. It, was, it wasn't because of good enough. He said he made about good enough. And I'm saying it wasn't about good enough. That's okay. all I'm saying. So who the that's back, what I was addressing. All right, so who are the backs you going to take in the game now? Who could be taking – Dalvin Cook is playing. So Cook, Dowdle, Zeke. Yeah. Fine. You've done that before? I'm okay without Dowdle. See? I don't think he's special. I don't either. I, I, I can't see Dowdle sitting. Uh, Mike likes him, so he'll play. But – I don't think he's anything. Okay, so so we're taking the- you're taking all three running backs just like you did when Deuce was up. That's what you're doing. Because I don't know why that's all. Why they, neither Dallas will in return, but I don't think you know Zeke, they'll make they'll have Zeke one of those extra de- have one of those extra daughter. defense backs and whoever else return do that. I don't know. Stuff. Zeke played center last time he was out there. Man, man, <laughs> that coordinator's no longer here. <laughs> man, sir. man, that coordinator's dirty. no longer she's here. Making a point play, about versatility. They're not going to play punt team and kickoffs don't matter these days. They're not going to punt this game. Dak uh, just talked about how great they were going to be on offense. Because they get the ball out quick. Yeah, well, that and because they, the communication is better. The communication is the so much better. Up. The energy is up. The communication is so much better this we're week. We're going to do the same thing they did last year coming two, out of the break. Two things I heard Completely today. Team. Mike McCarthy says. Wait, wait, wait. wait, wait. Let's, let's take a break. Oh, what a tease. tease it. Come back with the two things up, he heard. That's coming up next. We'll ask the and most wonder. trusted is Claire, beat writer heard. It, yes. Was his hearing correct? Because sometimes <laughs> people hear different things. I don't hear nothing. Let's hear either. next from Clarence Hill. He's not known for listening. Ed Werder. Nope. Jock Taylor and I, who were having a nice little conversation, you know, <laughs> doing the show. You, you know how it felt like Tuesday, right? There you now go. you felt like Tuesday until El Jefe showed up, interrupted. I know he scrugs. I'm going to show up, show up, show up this Tuesday. Tuesday. Come on. <laughs> Drawback, finds Pearson, it's caught, touchdown! The Dallas Morning News delivers full press coverage of the Cowboys. Bateman straight drop, throws it over the middle, Irvin, in for the touchdown, Cowboys! We cover your Cowboys from the preseason to the postseason and beyond. Boot to the right, looking down the field, Lamb, victory! Game by game, play by play, no one delivers your Cowboys like the Dallas Morning News. <laughs> Connect deeper to the Dallas Cowboys with the Dallas Morning News. I'm Cowboys alumni, Danny McCray, here with Smoothie King asking, what's that sound? That's the sound of me sipping one of their Power Pack smoothies with over 10 grams of protein. With real fruits and organic veggies because at Smoothie King, what you see is what you sip. So grab a delicious Smoothie King smoothie, throw a straw in your jaw, and get sipping real. Smoothie King, the official smoothie of the Dallas Cowboys. 
To kick off the 2023 NFL season, Hugo Boss teamed up with the NFL and Micah Parsons to launch an iconic apparel collection. Featuring hoodies, crews, t-shirts, polos, joggers, and more, the bold, unique apparel of the Boss NFL collection unites football and fashion while reflecting what it truly means to be a boss. Get yours today at nflshop.com slash Hugo Boss, at hugoboss.com, and at Boss Retail Stores. Hashtag be your own boss. Hey, Cowboy fans, I'm Dak Prescott, quarterback of the Dallas Cowboys. But lately, I've been learning a new game, crypto. Sound confusing? Don't worry. Even us pros were rookies in crypto once. That's why I trust blockchain.com. They make crypto easy. No confusing jargon, just the tools to help you win. Prescott keeps it, slides with a first down. Invest like your icons, where everyone is a rookie in crypto, with blockchain.com. Perfect throw, my goodness. Wow, did he ever thread the needle. Visit blockchain.com slash cowboys to get started. Back, back, to back. Media Mash. All right, Media Mash. It's Thursday. The entertaining group of Ed Werder, Jean Jacques Taylor, Claire Till. I am Newey Scruggs. This show is going to be a little, little shorter because the locker room went uh, went a little. It bit. started a little late, and then Dak went a little long at the end. Yes, yes. Um, Clarence, what was Dak saying to you at the end? He said he was like, "Dion, I got receipts." What he was saying <laughs> that I said he had to be perfect. And I don't think I said he had to be perfect. I did say need to be, you know, they need him to be Superman. He's their franchise quarterback. And he said, I don't necessarily need to be perfect, but I need to play better. Because he was asked about how he's played this season. He, he says I need to be average. He says I need to be better. You know, and, and everybody knows that. But he was, and he just wanted to say, I don't have to be perfect, but I need to be better. I, you know, I said, no, I didn't think I ever said you need to be perfect. But I probably said you need to be Superman. This is what team. I like about athletes who know what's up. Which is when, when you're talking to them, they know whether they play good or whether they play the average or whether they play bad. They just get mad when you ask them about it. Dak know he's been average this year. He has not been that dude. We've seen him been that dude before. We just haven't seen it this year. Now see, I think you did, but it's the context of where you said it, which was, dude, there's no run game. Right. Offensive line ain't that good. Ain't no help. Right. Yeah. Like, it's on you. Your receivers it's- are not coming off the ball. They're not <laughs> separating. Oh, Listen, and and what were the two things you heard? weren't you weren't we teasing something about? I was teasing something. I was getting ready to get to that, but um, so Dak and Mike McCarthy both very matter of factly, we're gonna win this week. Very he, McCarthy always says that. I understand, but Dak again when we get this win, you know they were very. There's there's some there's an air of confidence. He said that against Detroit, we're gonna get this win at Dubai, and da, 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 da. Mike says that all the time. Mike says that all the time, but no, they Dak both said that. Well, yeah, and obviously they're supposed to, but there's there's some kind of error. They were so close. There, you know, there, there's some confidence going on. They, you know, Dirty. they they all even, but they talked about even Jordan talked about how the, the practice was more right. spirited. And he's been one of the guys. So I think I said, no, I guess we haven't had the show since Detroit, right? So the thing that most bothered me coming out of that game was after the Baltimore game, Jordan Lewis called everybody out about their practice habits and right. practice and your habits are what separate you no matter your talent level. You're going to get exposed if you don't, if you're not prepared properly. And then after this, the Detroit debacle, Dak comes out and talks about, we got to learn how to practice hard. You can't just come out here and play the game. Like that's three weeks and that's not resolved. So now it sounds like maybe it got resolved. Yeah, at least temporarily, because Dak was talking about the energy. Jordan Lewis was talking about it. The I was communication. Wondering, and, and Mike I was wondering Mike. what that means when they say that they're not doing it. And I say that under the auspices of when they had their great teams, it was everybody practiced at this elite level. You know, it, not not being a practice beast was not even a consideration. Yeah, and, and Mike talked about it. I don't know if it was earlier this week or last week. Talked about the the walkthroughs haven't been. They haven't looked good. You know, it's like how you not how look good. How hard is that? No, nah, not look good in walkthroughs. Walkthroughs is all about concentration and focus. Yes, and so and knowing your assignments. Yeah. So, so let me ask this, just based on what you're hearing, is it the fact that this is a team that has just just embarrassed them? You know, they played them three times. They haven't won. I mean, last year threw forty on you out there. Could that be a part of it as well? They, we are they, tired of these guys. Yeah, but can they do anything about it? Yeah, yeah. See, that's the problem. Is it's one thing to be tired of it. It's one thing. Do you have the horses to to get over the hump? And I know, you know, there they there's some. And we, you know, CD tried to downplay, but Dak said, yeah, we we want to beat these 49ers. You know, they they have our number. There's and some, they're pretty compromised they're, themselves. There's some from extra motivation. As, as we said, if you don't beat, if you don't get the 49ers now, when you gonna get them? When you gonna get them? You know, with all the injuries having, and it's funny that the 49ers have 
own the Cowboys, but last year's game was the only one that was a blowout. Every other game was one score. They game. can't score against them. That's the yeah, problem. Yeah, every other, and this team right. can't score against anybody. There was one score games, but there was like when Alabama had their defense rolling and ten nothing felt like twenty eight nothing. They were never ahead in the playoff. Long. No, they, they weren't. You they never felt the, like they finna come back and. But do they this weren't. Thing. They weren't blowouts like last year. They, like they weren't knock a piece like Detroit. They weren't. You know, like the the, the, the New, New Orleans, Orleans game. They weren't the Green Bay game. They still were within one score. Of, of being in those games. That's all I'm saying, yes. So you picking them this week? I mean, since they got an air of confidence. They do have an air of confidence. I'm not. I, I but, see, but, the, but the thing about it, is, and that's the funny thing Don't about it. Don't wag your finger at me. Oh my God, that's, the, that's, <laughs> that's the thing about it is, and we talked about it, That's why I wonder what the Cowboys do well. Even though the, uh, the Fort Niles are struggling, they still stop to run. And they still got a defense. And they still can run the ball. And, what, and the Cowboys, yes, they have injury, but the Cowboys, their injuries are offense, not defense. Which, and the defense is one the Cowboys has trouble moving the ball to score on that defense. And that's not where their weakness is going to this game. Uh, and, and, the, and the Cowboys, the, the 49ers' weakness is their offense, but the Cowboys still don't have their best players on defense. Yeah, man. It just doesn't – It doesn't. What about the whole scheme problem that they've had issues with over the years, whether it's the Packers running this offense, the 49ers running this offense? Well, yeah, that you don't have Eric Kendrick and you got the young guys. You know, that's, that's What about New Orleans problem. ran the offense here and they had all their guys on defense and they got smoked? He gave him 44 points and couldn't stop Derek Carr from having I don't his know, greatest no days in the world. Forty-four points since then. They have not won a game since then. You know <laughs> They've lost five straight those games. Are, those are home games, Ed. Things are different. Yeah, they're, they're, they're better, better on the road <laughs> than they are tough, at home. Tough road team. No, uh, uh, you know, Jordan Lewis talked about the uh, eye candy this week and, and yeah. trying to decipher what they're doing and not getting fooled by the motion and the shifting, all of which is easier said than done uh, when you're out there going 100 miles an hour. Uh, you get a sense that Kendrick is playing this week? They need him to play. I, I think that he's trending toward playing, but, you know, obviously it's, it, it, he was supposed to do more teamwork today. He certainly was not in the rehab group today as were some other guys. So that's good news. They need him. It, so, looks, like, it looks like Micah and Deron Bland are out again, basically yeah, what we've it, seen today. Yeah, and, and Mike Deron talked Bland about it. seemed like a setback. And Mike talked about Micah not really being passing the threshold to return to play yet. And he has you know, to Saturday. He has to yeah. Saturday to get that done. So, what so the, what Your other two points, by the way. Your points? No, my points were it was, it was both about Mike and Dak okay. basically saying we're going to win this game. Okay. You know, uh, put that in. three inch bowl headline. They're not Jimmy Johnson, but they they're Clearly. expressing confidence in their team and and I'm like, what is the confidence based on? You know, what what have you seen? And and because Mike talked about, what do you tell you? Your question: We're a growing team. We're a team that's young, inexperienced team. A bunch of young players. Bye you know, week, bye week. Mike three and one off the bye week with the Cowboys. Twelve and five in his career. Those different teams, man. What different teams? <clears throat> different situations. I, I just put don't a lot know. Of stock into that. I just don't know. You you should feel good and think like last year they were a different team after the bye, but. What can you hold? Dak your, was like thirty touchdowns and five picks after the right. bye last year. And my my thing is that what do you what have we seen? You can say this team does this well; they can build on this and, and and turn this thing around. That's why I wonder what they do well because you can say all this, you want to have confidence, you're supposed to have that lip service, but it has to be based on something. I think the best thing that happened to this team, quite honestly, was Troy Aikman calling out the receivers. I don't think Dak would do it on his own. I think da- I think Troy did Dak a huge favor by calling out the receivers, yeah. and and no one's pushed back on that. Dak didn't push back Except on that. Except for Mike, he's supposed to. Yeah, he, cause he it's, had cause, to because it's an indictment his, of him. It's called out his coaching, right? Yeah. What you allow, you coach it or you allow it. <laughs> now, see, I, I agree with that, and the, and the more we talk about this team, it feels more like a coaching issue to me. Poor practice, poor walkthrough. That's all about leadership at the top, setting the tone well, at the top. And, I, and that, that's all to me. That's all about. You're losing early. These players don't feel accountable to the coaches because they're right. not going to be here next right. year in all likelihood. And so, to me, that was a recipe for disaster from the start. You don't extend the coaches. The head coach is, you know, already doesn't have the uh, full autonomy the, and the right, power that you do. should a head coach have. And now you start losing games and the players don't think they need to be accountable. Yeah, and that's that. what I was talking about yesterday when I said you can lose and snowball and it don't have to get better because people start – let me start stat chasing. Screw the coach. It ain't me. It's those guys over right, there. The assistants start and, looking and, for jobs. And, and, and it's just and, it's snowballs. And so you can say what you want about Mike McCarthy. I think he's done a good job preparing this team, especially last year. You know, the health, taking care of their bodies. 
getting them ready to go for the playoffs. To go 12 and 5, 12 and 5, 12 and 5, I don't care who you play against, is not an easy task. To win four games without your starting quarterback in this league, which he did a couple of years ago, is not an easy task. He's overcome a lot. And you've got the owner who likes to go on the radio. Yeah, so he's overcome a lot. About your flaws, but, but, this, but this year, but this <laughs> year it may be too much for him to overcome because I don't think he doesn't know how to prepare a team. The tools that the Carpenter were given are not great tools. They, they, they just rusty. are not. They, they are not. Some of them just don't even fit correctly. Yeah, so yeah, we we can talk about X's and O's and everything else, but I think he knows how to prepare a team. All right, Clarence Hill, Ed Werder, Jock Taylor, take a break. Come back, finish off the show strong right here. It's a meeting match. I'm Newey Scruggs, DallasCowboys.com. It's the official men's skincare brand of the Dallas Cowboys, Jack Black. And right now, Cowboys fans can get 15% off their $75 order. Plus, because every deal needs a playmaker, your order will include a free five-piece skincare set and free shipping. The Jack Black Playmaker is four of Jack's favorites and a full-sized intense therapy lip balm. Make a play for the playmaker at getjackblack.com slash cowboys with the code cowboysvip. That's getjackblack.com slash cowboys with the code cowboysvip. Raising Cane's presents the other rules of football. Rule one, any broadcast without the express addition of cook to order Cane's chicken fingers is prohibited. Rule 12, no crinkle cut fries, Texas toast, or craveable cane sauce constitutes an illegal formation. And rule 31, anybody who loves to feed their game face is an eligible receiver of Cane's. When it comes to winning game day, Cane's rules. Raising Cane's chicken fingers, one love, go Cowboys. Drop back. Finds Pearson. It's caught. Touchdown. The Dallas Morning News delivers full press coverage of the Cowboys. Bateman straight drop. Throws it over the middle. Irvin. In for the touchdown, Cowboys. We cover your Cowboys from the preseason to the postseason and beyond. Boot to the right. Looking down the field. Lamb. Victory. Game by game. Play by play. No one delivers your Cowboys like the Dallas Morning News. <laughs> Connect deeper to the Dallas Cowboys with the Dallas Morning News. Hey, Cowboy fans, I'm Dak Prescott, quarterback of the Dallas Cowboys. But lately, I've been learning a new game, crypto. Sound confusing? Don't worry. Even us pros were rookies in crypto once. That's why I trust Blockchain.com. They make crypto easy. No confusing jargon, just the tools to help you win. Prescott keeps it, slides with a first down. Invest like your icons, where everyone is a rookie in crypto with Blockchain.com. Perfect throw, my goodness. Wow, did he ever thread the needle. Visit blockchain.com slash cowboys to get started. Back Back, back, to Media Mash. All right, Media Mash on a Thursday rolling into Sunday where the Cowboys will travel out to California to take on the San Francisco 49ers. 49ers uh, dealing with some injuries here. Um, Who's phone? It's not it's, mine. It's my watch is ringing. Your, your watch. That's five hundred dollars fine. Okay. It is. You can hit that red thing on. Hit the that red thing. Uh, I'm it's sorry. Your phone yeah, is five hundred. I, I, I don't want this person to go away too soon. Uh, <laughs> oh, <tell laughs> I want to give him a choice of leaving a voicemail. Fifteen minutes, man. Your, your watch is two fifty. Send him a text. Hey, you tell Troy text. we said hi. <laughs> said, text it's Brett Favre. Brett Favre. Hey, what's Favre? Brett Favre. Favre. That's a good one. He on that. He on that. Uh. I need some welfare money. Welfare, I need some case. My welfare money. <laughs> Tell the Ed where to go vote. Let's, let me just say, let me say, might be, it's, it's, might be saved. It's hard not to take the call <laughs> even here. Sir. You should have done the Adam Schefter. Might be paid. You should have just pulled it up. You got on it. <laughs> Clarence Hill, Ed Word, <laughs> Taylor. Has more fun than I <laughs> am Dewey Scruggs. Yes. Oh, boy. I love this show. I love this show. Um, who is the player that has to have a good game this week. Besides the quarterback? I mean, it could be the quarterback. <laughs> you know, I'm going to give you a wild card name. Okay. Jake Ferguson. I haven't really seen much from Jake Ferguson this year. I know he's been hurt. He would give them another threat in the passing game who could make some change, move, maybe help them convert some third down. He can get down the seam and bust your butt for a 20-yard game. Jake Ferguson show up this week in a big way, like, uh, you know, 5 for 82, something like that, 6 for 90. Maybe they could do a little something, something. Ed? Donovan Wilson. Safety. Hey, play. I thought about the human missile when I saw him I in the mean, locker room. There. George missile. Kittle's killed this team with his Dallas sucks T-shirt, mm. and he's got to come in and play the run. No, he said Dallas. Oh, okay. Mason, <laughs> Mason has is the NFC's leading rusher behind Derrick Henry. Have we talked, mentioned Derrick Henry? Oh, I think I did earlier. Yeah, came uh, forward. Came Jordan forward Mason, don't undrafted, fit. playing for Christian McCaffrey, has leads the NFL in broken tackles and in big plays. 
19 runs over 10 yards and a catch over 20. So I'm picking Donovan Wilson. I liked it. I liked it. They have to stop the run. They so have Mozzie to the stop the run. It's Mozzie Smith. I'm glad you Boy, took it. Up. They have to stop the run. I mean, you, you, okay, you, you start the you, he, he asked me who needs bubble. a good game. They need my. They have to stop the run. They they have to. Mike Zimmer needs to have ten in the box. Do whatever you can. Stop the run. Make them pass the ball on you. You don't have Iuk. You're gonna have a a compromised Debo. Uh, stop the run. Whatever you do, stop the run. And it needs to start up front with Mozzie Smith. Clarence, I gotta agree with you on that because. The blueprints out there run on these dudes. That that's it. And we talked earlier on the last show, uh, the players' lounge. One of the big problems when you look at the Cowboys, their opponents have the ball for 32 minutes a game. And guess that's what? Probably. The 49ers are number one in the NFL in time of possession. <laughs> you and your facts. Ed. Sorry. <laughs> I'll try to man. tone it back next week. Okay. Well, but yeah, McCoy, I was kind of supporting. It was a supporting fact. No, you're right. You're right. But uh, you know what you say, Clarence? They, they, Dak and McCarthy have declared it. They're speaking it to an existence. They're trying right? to speak it to an existence. There you go. But you know, poppycock. So against an opponent they never beat, <laughs> in a game they have to win, a game in which Mozzie Smith is the key player, you're picking the Cowboys to win the game. <laughs> did not pick anybody to win. Did not pick the Cowboys. But that's just that's how crazy this season I is. Him. I picked him, man. Uh, I picked him last that? week, apparently. I picked him. That's how that? crazy this season is, okay? It ain't that crazy. No, it's crazy because <laughs> – after all the doom and gloom, after all the stuff we've had to deal with this week. What about the 49ers? They, they, they got the same, the same but, thing. But, but you know what? It's one thing that Dak said as right. he talked about winning. He said, my fear is we win this game and then we don't have the same intensity for Atlanta because that's what the season's been like, the up and down nature. His concern it. better be they need to win this game. Right, he is. But, so. he, said, <laughs> but he said that's the focus. You know, they, they, they have to continue to keep that same focus. You know, he talked about the confidence, but he said, yeah, the, his fear was keeping that same intensity the following week, which they haven't done. They think, yeah, we beat Pittsburgh and we got everything fixed, and then we get the doors blown off of us. All right, we're running out of time here, so let's get our media mash uh, picks in here. Let's start with tonight. Minnesota, who have lost at home to uh, Detroit last week. They are in Los Angeles for Thursday night football to take on the Rams. JJT, what you got? I mean, the Vikings are trying to win a division. A tough division, perhaps the toughest division in the league this year. The Rams are selling their players off, so it's got to be the uh, the Vikings and Sam Darnold trying to make his last stand. Let me score. 27-20. Ed, the only team in the top six on offense and defense in the NFL, the Minnesota Vikings, are going to win this man. game. What's the score, bro? I'm trying to, oh, you need a score? Yeah, yeah come on. Uh, Thirty thirteen. Oh, that's going to be a blowout. No, oh, okay. Just got to chill. Got the Vikings. The Vikings, the only team that will break their fans hard at the end of the season because they're going to look good in the regular season. It's going to the end of the season, they're going to be the Vikings. <laughs> like the Cowboys. Since, since the, the Fran talking to the Vikings, since this Green Vikings, that's all I've seen is the Vikings breaking their fans hard in the playoffs. But the Vikings uh, will win this game 28 18. All right. Um, by the way, uh, Chris Beamer brought it up last show, so let's throw this out here. Game, uh, game one of the World Series is tonight. Who wins the World Series? Jack. Uh, I like the Yankees, man. I think they got more depth, more power. How many games will they win this? Oh, season? I think it's a great series. Seven. Seven. Yankees in seven. Jeez, picking Means baseball games now too. Yeah, yeah. With the Mavs. You pick whatever, baby. <laughs> I got the I got the Mavs over Wimby. But I think Wimby has a double. Fan duel, our, our <laughs> name sponsor or something. What's going on here? Uh, you we, never know. But Jerry, give it to the Draft Kings. I think give I'm not time. sure. Uh, what you got, Ed? What What am I picking? Uh, World, World Series? Series. Los Angeles. Dodgers. I'll take the Dodgers. I hate both teams. And uh, I'm a Braves fan. How many games? The, uh, Six. Who you like in the uh, Australian Open? It's <laughs> <laughs> coming up in January. Dodgers of six, Otani. Yannick MVP. Center. <laughs> All right. And since it's our final media mash, Cowboys at San Francisco. Final, the show's over? This done week. for? For this week. This for week. this week. This, oh. this week. Just this week. Clarence uh, will tell you when it's, uh, when it's on. <laughs> El Jefe. He's El Jefe going to bring it to an end. You ain't going to get no letter. Just a text. <laughs> no show today. <laughs> for you. Y'all <laughs> Picking a cowboy game now? You got John. <laughs> uh, give me the Niners in that weed based bay. Uh, I really don't believe in Dallas, so I hope they prove me wrong. Give me uh, San Francisco 34 20. Ed? I'll take the 49ers 20 to 14. 
Forty Niners, twenty three seventeen. Because a familiar score of a couple of years ago. Yeah, thirty four points a lot for that beat up offense, but I don't believe in the Cowboys defense. Huh. So all of you have the Cowboys losing. Yeah, you want to pick them so that you so if they win, you get credit. If you lose, they say, Oh, they let me down. You talking about that Randy Galloway? Yes, that's the exactly Randy what Galloway I'm talking about. Galloway School of Stardom. I ain't forgot. I ain't forgot. <laughs> like when I'm wearing this T-shirt? Yeah. If, you, if you pick them to lose, you can't criticize them for losing. There you go. Um, so this means the Cowboys, according to you gentlemen, will fall to three and four. What will the fallout be I if they you. lose this one here? I told you. It's, it's, I got them down for six wins this year, though. <laughs> <laughs> I thought they were too talented to miss the playoffs, but if, if, clearly that's not the case. If, they can if, easily miss the playoffs. If they lose this one, it depends on how they lose. They get embarrassed, get humiliated again, and they lose next week. I think the Jerry's statement of I'm not going to make in-season coaching change is going to go to, just because I said it, don't make it so. It won't matter another, by then. Another He's famous quote. Wait. Another famous Jerry quote. Uh, I think he may be forced to do something. Because I make a statement, than, it's just a statement for that day. Yeah. He'll be a lower than the cricket's ass. <laughs> going to end the show right here. Pimple, circumcise a mosquito. Pimple. <laughs> You're going to end the show right here. Okay. Uh, thank That's you. That was Jock Taylor. Hey, five minutes too late, Louis. With Jock Taylor, not Clarence Hill. Uh, don't worry, Derek. I'll send you both the <laughs> Clarence Hill, Ed Warder, Jock Taylor, Louis Scruggs. Thanks for all the help behind the scenes from Chris, Josh, Jazz. This is DallasCowboys.com. This has been a production of DallasCowboys.com and the Dallas Cowboys Football Club. How about this, Cowboys?